Alright, so uh, welcome to Go to Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the RGB lighting on the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to take a look at the uh, MSI Gaming app, and that is what is used to control the LEDs on the motherboard. Uh, so, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so you will notice here I've got the MSI Gaming app. Um, well, actually, this is it. Uh, you click on the LED button, and it brings up this LED console. Uh, so right now I have it on the rainbow mode. Uh, so one thing to note is that... Uh, the there is no BIOS option for this. It defaults to red. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just go to its default. Um, this is what it looks like when you first boot on. You'll notice down here uh, in the lower right hand of the motherboard below the chipset there's a bright white LED. Um, that is because we are in BIOS mode overclock and that sucker is bright. Uh, that is really one of my only complaints about this motherboard. Ugh, man, it's bright. Okay, so what you have here is you have the all LED option, and then you have uh, five different zones. So you have the motherboard logo, which is over the chipset. That is the dragon, and the the light around it. Uh, so you got the the. Let's see, uh, so this is the part where it says Gaming Pro, so this is over like your VRMs. Uh, and then you have the audio portion, which is kind of hiding underneath the graphics card here. And, uh, and then you also have uh, some lighting, which it's kind of hard to tell here, and it really took me a while to figure this out, but this is, uh, there are LEDs underneath each of the uh, PCIe uh, retainer clips. And then you have this uh, Extend LED. Now what this is, uh, now you'll notice that I have the Fantex Enthu Lux Pro case, which has LED lighting. Uh, they actually sell a, uh, an adapter, which allows you to plug into the motherboard for this feature. And actually, it, you know, it's meant for LED strips, which I also have in there, but they are uh, Fantex branded and have a special connector. But with that Fantex adapter, I'm able to plug that into the motherboard and plug that into the case, you'll see the exterior uh, lighting kind of there on the right. Um, so that is actually on the case. And then the interior lighting, we've got the motherboard, but then you have the LED strips on the inside of the case there, which kind of give it the overall glow. So yeah, if you look here, uh, we've got the motherboard logo. Let's say we want to change that to blue and we want to keep everything else red for, well, I don't know, why not? There you go. It's blue. Well, uh, let's see. Let's make this portion up here. Uh, let's make it kind of a greenish color here. So this is kind of above the MOSFETs here and the uh, kind of the shroud surrounding the I.O. there. Uh, and let's have this do double flashing. Uh, oh, got to apply it first. So yeah, we got that double flashing. I mean, you can really make this super obnoxious if you wanted to. Uh, let's see, motherboard audio. Let's make that kind of a light blue. Now, well, that's kind of boring with the blue there. Let's see, kind of an orangey yellow. Now, yeah, there we go. And let's give that, uh, let's have it do a breathing. The audio is breathing. Now, I noticed with the breathing here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the way that it breathes, it doesn't do like dim to bright. It like kind of like cycles through the color, like the colors that compose it. Like you'll see there at the end, it'll kind of turn up reddish. I don't know. The, the breathing on this one is kind of hokey. Uh, I'm sure they can improve it with some time. Um, let's do the under portion of the PCIe. Let's go with a nice pink. Man, gosh, that's really hard to see. You can't really tell. I mean, I can kind of see it. 
Yeah, let's just go with solid red. Why not? Yeah, I, th this one just isn't very strong. It's kind of hard to see. Just, I don't know. The the PCIe one, the, the lights under the retainer clips, it doesn't really work very well. Um, I don't know. It's not my favorite. And uh, let's do the outside portion. Let's make this, you know, just no animation. We'll make it kind of a sea green. Yeah, why not? Oh, looks great. All right. So there we go. So there's the control of all the different zones and kind of different animations. Uh, now there are some. Now it's kind of weird. Like it gives you the option of these other some of these other ones below, which are marquee, meteor stack, rainbow, lighting, and random lightning and random but once you select one of those it actually sets the whole sets all the LEDs so yeah it's kind of kind of hokey uh, the, this really kind of needs some work I mean it, it gives you plenty of options um, I find that I like well actually the one we're on right now so we'll do all LED um, alright so this is the marquee one uh, it actually selects the color for all the zones and what it does is it just kind of cycles through each of them and just kind of goes through in a little I, this one's not really my favorite um need to green okay so let's go on to meteor i don't really understand meteor uh you can't select the color i think it just does red and it's really not too different from marquee so I don't know it, it like does a loop and so I think the way that the marquee goes it's like one two three four five four three two one two three four five four three two one I think what this one does is like five four three two one five four three two one but in all red I don't know it this one's it's really kind of hard to distinguish these two and stack is much the same way too Again, you can pick the color of stack. And the way this works is it's kind of like Comet, but it's like Tetris, so it like stacks it. Now this one's a little better, I, I don't know. It is what it is. I really feel like they could have done a lot more control with some of these. And like, I would like to see like maybe do stack where you can pick each of the different zone colors. I don't know. It, just kind of left me wanting for more. Rainbow, this one's one of my favorite ones. This one just cycles through all the different zones and changes all the colors in a nice rainbow pattern. I I, I tend to have this one on the most. Um, it looks the coolest in my opinion. I mean, that's what I like. Uh, and it's not too noisy and it's not too crazy. Um, and in juxtaposition to that one, we've got <laughs> I personally love lightning. This one's great. Uh, you can't pick the color on it. It's red with white flashing, just like lightning. It's just kind of seizure inducing. You may have seen this on my previous video. Uh, I really like it though. It's just fun. Gives my wife a headache though. I enjoy it. If, I, if I'm wanting to show it off, this is one I show. But it, it's kind of hard to have on, you know, permanently. <laughs> All right, so, and then we've got random. And here you can pick the color in. What, what's kind of weird about this one is, it, well, it's random, but I feel like the LEDs are more off than they are on. I don't know, so it, it, it's just kind of goofy, and again, it's only one where you can pick all the colors for it instead of just, instead of being able to pick the zones. And then we have CPU temperature. Uh, we'll show this one off. We'll just run, um, oh boy, here, let's run just Cinebench real quick. So green, green means that we're all good, right? All right, so let's go ahead and kick off Cinebench here. 
and then it'll turn blue once the temperature raises a little bit and then it goes red. So there's CPU temperature, really not that exciting. Then you can also have everything off, of course. That's your thing, just too much. Um, and then you've got these music ones, like I just don't get these. Um, I would think that they would just they would go to music. So you've got pop here, which just lights up the chipset. And th this one's just weird. Like, yeah, let's get some music going, but you're gonna see that it really doesn't make much difference. So yeah, you can see it's not going to the music. It's it just doesn't work. Let's try rap. And notice these are pre-selected colors. Uh, so, I mean, really, this is like blue lightning. Doesn't really do anything. And jazz, apparently you can pick the color for jazz, though. And it's not doing like anything. So, yeah. The the jet uh, the music portion of this is buggy as all get out. It just flat out doesn't work. Play I don't I don't even know what this even means. It doesn't do anything. Movie uh, green. It just kind of does this like twitchy flashy thing on the chipset. Yeah, it's really kind of disappointing. So yeah, there we go. There's a tour of everything we got on here. Overall, I really like it. There's the there's the key few that I stick to, like this one, lightning. It's just fun, good stuff. It's fun hooking it up to the Fantex case, and you know you do have control over you know the different zones with some limited control. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, so if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, uh, you can support me on Patreon, or you can also support me using the Amazon affiliate links below, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.